readers. It's Yasmin, the political reporter at Rare. We're at the White House today, and they were kind enough to invite us in to look at their Christmas decorations for the 2015 holiday season, and we wanted you all to come along. We're walking through the executive residence. So we're finally walking in, and we're going to meet with Michelle Obama and look at the decorations. Come on in. So what is this, the what is the significance of this tree? It's uh, to honor the veterans and those who have fallen, those currently in the service. So this is actually really cool. We're in one of the hallways of the White House where if you look up, there's a snowflake from each state where a child that's selected from each state wrote their hopes and aspirations on one of the snowflakes. There are actually snowmen outside that represent each state as well. So where are we right now in the... So we're currently in the White House Library room where they have these trees that are representing famous books and history. We're in the White House Blue Room, which is actually right in front of the main entrance of the White House. And this tree behind me is actually 18.5 feet and is from Pennsylvania. This room that we're about to walk into is the Red Room, and they say that the president's favorite color is red. We're in the White House State Room, and this is actually where Michelle Obama is going to be speaking to us very shortly. But behind me is a gumball tree, and it's actually made out of 4,000 giant gumballs. There's a lot of excitement here at the White House right now. The First Lady is actually behind us meeting with uh, children of military families. There will be hundreds of military families that are filtering through the White House to view the holiday decorations. Just finished seeing the White House holiday decorations and it was really fun. I hope you all enjoyed it as well. Until next time, it's Yasmin with the Rare Media.